All of it. It's all there, every drop. And it speaks a better word for you and me. So when the enemy tries to accuse you of your past or accuse you of things that you've done, you can say, now the blood is at the throne and it speaks a better word for me. It speaks for me. And my testimony defeats the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony defeats him. That's how you defeat the enemy. So God had given me a word a few weeks ago. And this is what he told me. He said, victory belongs to you. I purchased it for you. I, already ha I have the keys of death, hell, and the grave. I purchased victory for you. Victory over your fears, victory over your past, victory over anxiety, victory over illness and over pain and over trauma. It's already paid. The, pay the price is paid. You do not have to live in your grave. You need to come out of your grave. That's right. You can walk healed beyond your years of victimization. I was talking with my daughter the other day, and we were having this conversation about when do you finally heal? And we were talking about emotional healing. When do you finally heal? Let's say you're in your kid years and you went through three to four, maybe five, maybe your whole childhood was abusive. And you dealt with so many years of abuse. You became an adult, you moved on on your own, you've had your own kids, your own marriage, your own family. It's been 40 years since you were that child. You lived in the abuse for 10 years, 12 years, 18 years, but you've been an adult for 28 years. When do you finally heal? When do you finally live beyond your grave and realize Jesus called you to stop living through your grave and in it? That he called you to live beyond your grave. The message of the grave is this. Jesus went into Sheol and took them out. They had no power to take themselves out. You don't have any power on your own to remove the past from your life. But Jesus has given you the keys the keys that he had to go get for you, they're, they're yours. They're, they're yours to have. Every time the enemy brings up my past, I can say, uh-uh. My Savior has the keys of death, hell, and the grave, and you can't take me back to my grave. Because I live beyond my grave. I don't live in my past, you guys. I don't live there. And I remember saying this to my mom, I'm going to heal. This went on for four years in my life, but I'm not going to wait four years to heal. And I'm certainly not going to wait a hundred years. I'm not going to live my life in this illness and the trauma and the sadness of everything I went on. And I'm not going to grieve forever. I'm going to move forward. It's a choice. It's a choice to grab the keys that he purchased for you and say, they belong to me too. He took back those keys for you so you could live beyond the grave, so you could be live beyond the past. Your childhood may have been 18 years, but if you live 28 years after it, what are you living from? Yeah. Too many people walk around in this world, even the church people. We think, well, people in the world should want to be part of the church and want Jesus Christ. Why? You don't live in victory. You live just like them. You live from your 18 years of trauma instead of your 28 years of freedom. Uh -huh. The day we get saved is your real birthday Amen. because that's the day your spirit man became alive and started walking and living in eternity. Uh -huh. Your birthday is not the day you were born to your earthly parents. Your birthday is the day you gave Jesus your life. That's right. yeah. that's good. Think about it because that's the day you walked out of the grave. And that's the day you begin to live past the past. Don't let that past be where, what you live from. Amen. That's right. It was a really interesting conversation with my child about this. Where do you finally just say enough? I lived 18 years in that hellhole, but I don't live in that hellhole anymore. I've lived 18 years beyond it, and I've had Christ in my life for 20 years. Or whatever. I don't know. You have, this is something we all, it's all personal to us. 
I may have lived through, through something that was just traumatic for four years. Went through spiritual abuse for 14. Dealt with all sorts of different things. But I've lived 14 years beyond that. And when I came out, when I realized that, I thought, oh my goodness. I've lived as equal free as I did in bondage. Guess what? I'm not going to live from my bondage. I'm out of that grave. And I'm not going to live from my grave. When that man got set free from the legion that was in him, the man went and put clothes on. And he lived from his freedom. He no longer lived in the tombs. He was free. The pigs weren't, but that's another story. 